get started with day two. Um, I've done a lot of prep work um, for getting this started. I've actually sorted out all of the screws uh, before you see me actually putting them on tape. Um, I found out that was okay idea, but I needed to use that tape to kind of sort out and count more stuff. Um, but all the screws I have put together in different bags. Um, and that helped out a lot because now I can actually tell which ones are which a lot easier. Because of course from the US, we don't use millimeter that much. And unless you're doing this every day, you don't know offhand what they are. Um, so I've brought some extra baggies just in case got some baggies with tape on them um, that'll help me out if I need to for some reason use them um, but we're gonna get started with the gripper servo um, and basically the frame lower uh, which is on the screen right now so we're gonna get started with that um, so first off frame itself um, one side is, and one side is clean, or uh, whatever you want to call it. I can't think right now. My brain is dead. So one side is uh, textured, one side is not, and we're going to use that one for part of the day today, pretty much, because this is the lower section. Um, motors, of course, two servos, one for the gripper arm and one for believe the head mount but I'm not sure I have to remember that and the sensors themselves um, we will be using these sensors um, so I'm gonna put them to the side for right now and let's get this started so right now I'm gonna get the screws that we need out um, and Kind of use this as a staging sort of area to put some of the screws in here, so I don't they don't roll away on me. But it looks like I need two 10 millimeter screws, uh, the 1.4 and two two two. <clears throat> All right, so I already have the servo lower plate here. Um, I will use these later. So we are going to get some of the screws out, so I need 10 millimeter, which is the larger of the two, so we're going to take two of those out. Put those right here. that back up so we don't lose any stuff we need two nuts and two washers all right and that should be it Two screws, nuts, washers, oh, we need the, need those. So we're going to put those off the side, and let's get started with this. Alright, special notes, uh, textured side of the black frame should face up, smooth side down. So, and this said, uh, this should be up. So we're going to look at it just like this. Alright, 
So we are going to put this together. This is a simple part of it. So the servo is right here. Should be going just like that. It's not going to be that big of a deal. So the nut goes on the bottom. this so we need these okay now be gen be nice to me here come on ah come on First one, let's see if we can do this a different way. Alright. So there's that. And we need those spacers that go between. this all going here. Go right in. Alright, look at that. They went right through with no issues. Now, the fun part of putting these nuts on here. So put a little tape on this just to make sure they stay oh come on tape agree with me here I don't think I really wanted you to stay there or something Tape on this side. Yeah, it's going to be a little getting used to making sure that I'm in the camera so you can see kind of what I'm doing here. I did have some other tweezers here. This might help out a little bit. There's gotta be an easier way to do this. Alright, so I 
one on there. Alright, that's started. So we can take this tape off now. I know we're going to need that later because. Yep. Yeah. this to stay out of there for a second. Not want to work for me. All right, that one's on there. Wait, did I use the right ones here? Doesn't seem right. 10 millimeter. Okay, that is the larger ones, okay. Okay, so they are sticking up, all right. There's one servo down. Next. Alright, pan servo. So, where are these little bad boys at? I know I've seen them. Alright, let's get all this stuff out. Um, and this right here. All right, now we need the six millimeter screws, which are a little bit smaller. We need four of the six millimeter. Oh, trying to get all four at the same time, but nope.
it is. Four of those. All right. So now. Okay, so we have the servo facing up. The servo is facing up, it should be like right here. So we need to add these brackets. section is facing in. So we have minor surgery here it feels like play the doctor game the surgeon game I can't think of what it's called I don't know how many of you guys remember that the surgeon game where you're sitting there and you have to uh, actually um, try to do surgery and you can't touch the sides God, that game. I, uh, that game was such a pain in the butt, especially when you're younger. Of course, there's always someone out there that knows a little bit more about this than I do and how to do this stuff efficiently. So, I don't claim to be an expert on it. Never have, never will. Um, if anybody claims to be an expert on anything, they're an idiot because there are no experts. There's always something more that you can learn. And there's always increasing knowledge um, for just overall things in life. So, but, alright, so there's four of them down. Now we put this on, and it looks like the screws are going up from the coming down. Hold that in 
depois. Just not to hold it in place so I can put these things in. Okay, there's one. Get back here. Come here. <laughs> Seriously. Stop doing that to me. Started. I'm gonna put this one on and do hopefully the same thing. Get this thing. No. Come here. Come here. Take some tape off here. Looks like I need a little bit finer now. Screwdriver shears, because those are just not cutting it. I'll try these. There we go. That works better. So now I just got two. Take off. Tighten this one down as well. All right, joy, joy, joy. We built this thing together here. Go this direction. There we go. Need to tighten it down just a hair. You little twerp. Ah! This is what happens when you're using what you got, not actually what you need.
you go. Better. All right, now we throw some of these in here. Put this thing back together here. put this servo on here hopefully we can get this thing going here <clears throat> all right now they're saying that the servo needs to be like this so this goes underneath here and this goes in there all right and of course, I don't want to drop that out, so I need to do this the hard way. But I don't want to drop the stupid washer out, because that would suck horribly bad. Come on. Put it in the hole. You know you want to. There we go. Put a little bit of tape on this thing. No, you little bastard. started.
tighten this down a little bit. Making sure all these are tight. Those are all done. Whew. All right. Yay, now we get to deal with the bigger ones. Okay. So we need six millimeter of these. these and so we need two metal motor mounts and the motors themselves Tappings in here. These were uh, machine screws. All right, so we need the machine screws out of this. Ah, there it is. 
is larger nuts. <clears throat> All right, so what does this say? Attach both servos mounts first, then add servos. So, sub motors into motor mounts first, then install motor mounts into lower frame. Uh, ah, typo, man. Typo, Kevin. All right, then install motor mounts onto lower frame. Attach the motors first. I'm assuming it does not matter which way is up, which way is down. Okay. Well, we have to black up. So we're going to push those black ones up. Try this again. We are going to take this and put these in there already. You know
not done. Do the same thing since that actually worked pretty well. get started with this thing. This side we have screw on. We have the screw in. out done all right so the next motor mounts all right so this one is here
Where's the boaters? Motors are in. Servos are in. Last step for today is the sensors. And once we finish with those, then I probably will cut it off and go from there. But um, so we need. Yeah, we need some of the larger ones, which is cool. Uh, yay! Um, I won't have to do as much effort on these ones. So it's a good ending point. Um, Alright, so we have the three sensors. So we're going to be using these right here. These three sensors, we need the nylon washers, we only need two of those. And we need the large Three of those, and we need the long cable. wire connector cable Assuming one of these. Long wire connector cable, approximately six inches on a fifty meter short cable is in the picture. So on the rear sensor, this one back here is actually going to be, so this is all going to be upside down, so sensors are down here, so we have the sensor right here, so the screw goes in, oh, I gotta get the screws, ah, and these were the 14 millimeter if I'm not mistaken. Yes. All right, so I can take all these.
build this up. So we have one screw. these and we have two of these bad boys so this down I might do um, uh, when I'm off stream is go ahead and uh, tighten up some of the screws again make sure they're all still uh, pretty decently tight because I have not tightened some of them up um, just to make it a little easier on everybody that is trying to watch this I mean I've tightened them up enough snug but I'm going to go back through and tighten them up I do believe I have uh, some sockets or other pliers or wrenches that I can use to get those. Because I really would hope to get this on there. But Alright, so now we go on, because we just did the rear sensor. Now we're going to work on the two uh, sensors in the image here. Um. All right, so now we're going to work on the two sensors right here, right in front of the motor. And let's get that started. So it doesn't look like we have any issues with that one so it's going to be the right in front of the motor mounts um, they're going to be screwed in right in front of those motor mounts and it looks like the screw comes up from the bottom so we are going to First one here. Yeah, we're going to have to come back through and tighten up some of these screws. I do not like how loose they are.
finish the first stages, or first steps, I should say. All right, so we finished the lower frame. Uh, we've actually done the gripper, the pan servo, the motor mounts, and the bottom sensors. Um, the next time I stream, I will be going over all the rest of this, the upper frame. Um, we're going to install the Raspberry Pi, install wing mounts, join the frames together, and install the spirit board. Um, these steps probably are not going to be that much. Um, it's going to be just a putting things together, uh, wing mounts, um, join the frames. Uh, that's where I get into those bigger screws and the main board. Uh, and this is the part where I've already done, uh, but this is usually pretty easy. Uh, but we will see how it goes and get everything sorted out. And hopefully by then we'll have everything installed and pretty much ready to go. Um, the electronics will be after that. But we're getting there slowly. Um, so right now this is all we have installed on this. Uh, the motors, the sensors, the servos, and the rear sensor has the uh, wire already connected to it. Um, so hopefully we can get this going and the next time I stream I should be able to get more of it installed and ready to go so thanks for watching um, and just go ahead subscribe if you're watching on YouTube or new videos for this um, or if you're on Twitch go ahead and follow me to watch it on there um, to get updates on when I'm streaming. Um, but right now, appreciate everybody watching. And I will pretty much leave you guys to listen to some music and while I cut the stream off. So you guys have a wonderful day. And my heart does go out to all of those in Florida. So... Just keep a prayer out for those guys in Florida dealing with the Hurricane Irma. And I wish them all the best and everybody that's affected by it. And including with Harvey too. But anybody that's affected by any of the hurricanes that are coming through or tropical storms. My heart is out to you guys. And I really do hope that no one gets killed in these. But we all know that it does happen. But I leave you guys. And have a good day. Have a good, wonderful day. It's beautiful outside today.